Dave, you've got. I am. Oh, oh. I'm inside your head. <laughs> What the so hell are we doing? We are in a game called Foundry. It is on a demo at the moment. Uh, its early access is out in, in soonish. I'm not sure they've actually got a date for it. It's a yeah, multiplayer no game. date on the Steam store. Um, is there one on the old internet? Foundry game. Down. Release date. Hmm. Confirmed to be 2023. Oh, okay. So, uh, nothing as yet. So we are going to have... There's a, there will be a tutorial person talking to us. He's asking us to go into the map, so you want to press M on your keyboard to bring up the map. But is that dude said to open the map? Fantastic. There are oh, several okay. ore patches in the vicinity. Equip your ore scanner from the inventory and use it to locate the ore patches. So what you want to do what? now is go into your B for inventory. That dude freaked me out. Drag your... That dude's Australian. Or, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I wasn't expecting it either. Um, to get started, approach both of the ore patches and mine some ore. So press, just hold down the 2 button and then scan it. There is another ore patch. Oh, it's behind us. There it is. Oh, Xenoferrite. That's over there. So if you want to scan, you want to. So all we can drill now is whereabouts have you got there? So all we can we can get these big chunks and get like uh, ten or fifteen each sort of thing. Um, if you uh. if you aim at the ground where the where the solar stuff is, you'll get like two out of it. But that's where the automation stuff kicks in shortly. We'll we'll have the automation will mine that stuff. So just mine everything oh, okay. on top. Because we're going to need it all anyway. And it also makes we can clear the platform. So this game has a... Um, I described it to Steve on Slack last night as we were discussing what we're going to do today in our gaming session. Was um, It's a game like Satisfactory. There's no doubt it's got some very much um, inspiration from Satisfactory. Um, but it's not quite the same, it's a little bit more laid back I think, not quite as um uh, what's the word for serious isn't quite the word to describe it but it's not quite the same not quite a simulation not quite a simulation, just... but it's definitely going to have a lot of like similarities between the two um so I think I've, ne I've got two more to go and what we need to do now is walk up, if you walk up to the machine, the lander you've got a sort of like an unbuilt machine there, so all you do is you just, yeah, you just literally walk into it and you point you, you point at the insert and it inserts mm. the materials and then once it's made... I was wondering if I could drill the screen <laughs> turns out no if you then want to pick up the thing, you just hold your, you just left click on the take button. Oh. Yeah, you can just keep on drilling too. I discovered this the other day, and I don't know how far you can go down because eventually, you obviously want to get out. So you, I don't know if you can just keep on drilling and never stop. I'm not too sure. So now you might not be able to get out. So. I'll dig my way out. You don't get much dirt. No, you don't. Right, I've, hit I've hit sort of a bedrock E type deal. Oh, okay. It's taking a little bit longer to drill through this stone. It's going to be hilarious if I drill through to the other side of the planet. <laughs> These stone blocks that are showing on the screen look very much like Minecraft stone blocks. Yeah, I think <laughs> it's got a... yeah. <laughs> okay. I've hit the bedrock. Wait, what are you digging? I'm digging... I'm parallel to you now. <laughs> oh, okay. I was like, ah, oh, there's, there's... I didn't realise there was stuff falling on me. This 
this cannot be mined yet. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah, we're down a fair way, aren't we? Okay. I wonder if you can just fill the hole in when you're done. I don't think there's any mechanic like that, that I've, that's been introduced so far. Because one could argue, I probably placed that initial hole in a really bad position. <laughs> yeah, that's alright. We do get the ability to do foundation building, so... Oh, um, you can just lay plates over the... Yeah. Raven's stuck and I'm scared! So, just go to the menu and respawn. <laughs> it'll take oh, you, you can do that? It'll take you back to the top. How about that? Yep. <laughs> That's alright then. Alright, so let's pick up our plates. So I'm what so we tempted just to jump down this hole again. <laughs> uh, what are we going to take? Oh, can we take plates? Can we take those rods? Now that we have basic materials available, we should start crafting building blocks which act as a foundation for other buildings. To do well, so, well, you need to open the crafting menu and click the desired items. Then, place them in the shape of a platform next to one of the ore patches. That's one of the ore patches, eh? Oh, that's interesting. Ah. What the hell are you doing? Well, it turns out if you drill the tree from the base of it, the whole thing just collapses. Yeah. <laughs> we do need to drill some of this stuff, because this is, um... The trees become... fuel for our machines at the moment, so... Oh, okay. So, do need to drill them. Is it so, weird that I kind of was hoping it'd be like Valheim when you cut down a tree, you have to get out of the way of it? Uh, it's not quite that game. <laughs> but no, it's not. Alright. So, interesting enough, I actually need... You need to have both the rods and plates to do what we're doing. Alright, we need right. 25 building blocks. So, so, you go to crafting menu, you've got all the things you can craft, you've got a couple of categories, structures, Components, handhelds, and metallurgy. You go into structures, one of them is building block down the bottom. Mm. So we're going to craft on those. Just click left and it'll just craft them for you. I can't. I tried, to... I don't have any xeno -fer ferrite plates. They should be in the little machine though, if you go back to them. There should be somewhere ah. there. So they should. And once you have them, you can basically build. A little house? A little. Whoa! Little... You basically do that. To automate ore extraction, we need to set up a drone miner. Craft one and place it on top of your foundation, right next to the ore patch. So now we need next to build, we need to craft ore a patch. ore patch. So we need uh, electronic components and machine parts. So they're all things you can get in your own machine already. So we just craft a bunch of those. Wait. Uh, electronic How components. Do we get so a oh, we need the components, so we need to build the electronic components. Yes, yeah, so you need more rods. Have you oh, got okay. So is in order to get the drone money, you need do you know ferrite plates, machine parts, and electronic components. Then to build them, you come into here and do that. Yeah. For the, so what we'll end up doing is we'll have a bit of automation going on. Um, okay. So I need electronic components. I'm uh Xenophora plates of it does that need, need yes, I need rocks. ten. I have thirty-two. Oh right there. Oops. Eh, good enough. Technium rods, wire coil. I need eight of them. Wait. Do I have a machine? Yeah I do. Uh, I need six. Okay, so I've got the miner. Hey! So the miner basically is a 4x4. Four four, and it's got the blocks in range, so basically we just plonk him down. And they'll start mining from the... 
require power to function. Let's build a biomass generator on the same foundation as the drone miner. Once built, you need to harvest some plants and trees with your mining drill to collect biomass. Insert the biomass into the generator and it will start to power all buildings on the same foundation as the generator. So does it matter where I put this thing? As long as you put it on the foundation? No. So I'll put it put it in one corner, for example, say here for example, on this corner here. Just in the corner there. Oh. It's wait It's a really fussy. Oh. It's really fussy about how you place things. I, not As I was looking at it initially when I picked it up, it was basically setting it underneath the yeah. plate. Yep. So I just scrolled up and down again and reset it. Just put on that far, um, on that corner there. Okay. Yep. Now, you walk up to it, and you've got inventory management, manage inventory. All right. you, you can drag and drop your fuel into it. Oh, down here. Yep. Yeah, you've you done that. Mining drones acquire your first automated ore. Aren't they beautiful? And they're going, Anyways, they're going mine we up. need to get going. Let's build a smelter next. I don't know if I'd describe these drones as beautiful. No, I, I think that's a bit generous, but yes. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, smelter. Smelter, so you might have enough uh, to smelter. do that. Have you got enough? I do not have enough electronic components. Yes, yeah, so that's the thing. Like we're, Because we're sharing resources, I need to move, I need to build over the thing you built so we can't fall down that bloody hole again. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, where are the wire? Where's the wire coil go? Oh, there. Duh. So if you've got any of the blue, because you did all the blue thing, didn't you? So if you've got any of the blue, um, the, the tech technum rods. Or, have you got no the raw the ore? You got any ore? Uh, I may have dumped it all in there. All right, all right, that's cool. So if you go, if you walk up to that guy, you can Let's see go. it's got a little app, little little bit to the that. Oh, uh, okay. Yep, now we've got it. Cool. Then you can fit it back into the machine and start making the rods again. Oh, right, yeah. I was like, what machine? I had to think about that for a second. But I've already built the smelter. Oh, okay, cool. I've already built another one because we're going to need two in a moment, so that's cool. Okay, cool. So put the smelter... So basically, what we can do now, we'll end up building... So this thing's here on, the, on this building, this minor thing. It's got the... It's got two little sort of doors in the front of it there. All sides have got two exits. Two sort of exits, they either be in, 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 intake or outtake ports on the side there. So you've got two little things. So we'll build an outtake on it. Then we'll build an intake into the smelter. So we need we to go. make it so we need to make it so that when you place the smelter down that we can get um, we can easily get stuff to it from these little this moment this drain miner thingy. So So I don't want to like literally jam it not, right, right next to nah, it. No, not next to it. You probably need to Are there? Um, no, because the the intake thing and outtake things take up two bits each. So I'll be putting it in the other corner, opposite the yep. Then rotate it around. Yep, perfect. The smelter is more efficient than the inbuilt drop pod smelter, so you should start using this from now on. Right. Another benefit is that we can automate the smelters to make our life easier. For this, you need to connect. Want to take out the rubble? To a smelter by using loaders and conveyor belts. Alright, so you can't take out the rubble from the smelter once you dump it in. No. No. Okay. F1. Buildings and machines. So see, see how on the, under, under that f structures column you've now got conveyor belts? Oh, you're talking in the... Oh, shit. Okay. Yep. Underneath, underneath conveyor you've got loader. So we need to make two okay. loaders. Because you can turn one to be an out... out our loader out and the loader in, so to speak, essentially. Okay. And then we need to build some conveyor belts between it. So you want to build the two loaders. If you got, what have you got enough? Have you got enough materials for anything? Uh, I will get them. Yeah, I'll build some. Let's I'll build a complex. bunch of. I'll build a bunch of conveyor belts. Uh, I need some electronic. First night, learn about the flashlight. You got a flashlight. Um, not exactly not too much. Little, 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 not a lot to learn about, yeah. realistically. So if I build one loader, is that one unit of the loader, or is that just will that encompass enough to give it to go from here to here? No, you've got to build a loader from at both ends of the of the path. Okay, so I need two. Yep, you need to build two. Yep. All right. Uh, 
um, which means I need more electronic parts and I need more plate dealies. Alright. Let's run back over here and steal some plates. Oh, I, I can't. Wait. I've Why got, is it... I've only got one plate myself, so I wonder if I can give them to you. Uh, I accidentally brought up a... Oh, a tablet. Right. Never mind. I figured it out. We need more xenoferrite ore. Yeah, we might have to just go mine it manually for a bit. It'll take a while, because we're going to get two out of each one. even break the block it literally just keeps digging the same block yeah as I said it, it, it's when you get to though that the hard the hard rock or whatever the hell that is exactly you'll yeah. just get two each time it'll just it, I don't think it'll ever break hmm I wonder if that's because this is apparently version point uh, 0 0.5 point 0 point 1 0 8 5 5 mm, I don't think it it, 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 it's not a bug it's a little bit by design no, no, yeah, I mean, is it, is, uh, will they add the feature that when you dig it, it'll eventually just become holes? No, I don't I think so. I guess not, because... I don't think so. I think it'll be basically... Um, Where'd these little fuckers go? When the inventory's full, it won't, they'll stop working. Oh, those lazy shits. So I've just taken out, I've just taken off my, taken it out, so I did. Alright. Uh, whoops, didn't want a tab. I want that, and I want two. Not enough. Did you buy a builder loader already? Uh, we're not sharing resources, so I don't. I don't think so. Okay. Oh no, I needed more plates. Yeah, should be some being made now. We loaded some in. Here we go. I got plates. Yeah, this is where becomes like a this, this is where it becomes a bit funny. Um, when you craft it, obviously I can't see what you're doing. Um, mm. It seems to imply that it can be automatically detect what you want it to be, whether you want it to be an intake one or an outtake one. Oh, okay. But if you... I think I'll need to build one so I can see what this is to show you through it. Um, Wait, there are remotes. Anyway. Um, oh, I need to stop pressing tab like it's Minecraft. Right, build another loader. Second load of build. Lovely. Right. The basics of factory Would you... Congratulations. There? To advance, we How do you turn the flashlight on again? Uh, L. Oh, wait, it's down here. L. Technologies to improve and grow our factory. Check it out, Graham. I found the emotes. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's go Anyway. Um, wait. Craft a research server? Yeah, we'll come to that in a moment. Don't worry about that. Okay. Um, automation basics. So if I put it, wait. So you see how on Oh no, you, okay. You see it's on the front, it's got intake? No. On the front of it, it says intake? Oh, I do now, yep. So that, and you put that on the mm, smelter machine. Uh, what's that? The thing you be on this the other thing? Corner. Yep, that thing. So put it, I don't know, not there. On one of these other okay. two. On, yeah, put it on one of those two. Yep, perfect. Yep, that'll do it. So I figured out how you change it. Yeah, so it's not particularly clear how you change it. It's the mode. Yeah, you hold the, the right mouse button. Yeah, the game doesn't tell you that. That <laughs> is true. I'm, that's what I'm saying. Sorry, uh, that is true, yes. Alright, now, let's build some convey belts. So I've got uh -oh. those, I've got convey belts, that's cool. Oh, you can toggle it, so it doesn't matter. I oh, can toggle it. Oh, how do you do that? Press the toggle switch on top of it. Oh, really? Oh, clever. Okay. So, so now we've got one into... Okay, cool. So... So do you need to put, like... Oh, you need to put conveyor belts down for it to actually work. Yep, I'm about to do that. So I've got conveyor oh, belts. Oh, so the conveyor belts, your way. So the conveyor belts have, ang have, ang have directions on directions. them. Directions. Directions on them. So we'll do that, and then it automatically does that, and then it goes in. Look at that!
And now it's, now it's... Oh, and you would do basically you would set up very similar concept here, but over on the xenoferrite shit. Yep. Now we basically we now repeat this on the other one. Okay. Because, because what we need to do is we, this research thing we've got to build mm. um, will require more of each of them basically. Um, and then once we've built it, it then yeah, there's a I don't know how far how much you can actually do in the demo. Um, but um. All right, so let's. I can wave. Uh, the, where are they? That's me laughing. <laughs> All right. So, did but like, basically, huh? Okay. What the fuck? The the oars don't even move. Oh, okay. Yes, they. Do. They do, but not very very subtly. Yeah, and it's it's only moving as it intakes to do whatever it's doing. Yep. So if you walk up to the machine. Yeah, you take it tells you that it tells you that it needs um, it takes three seconds to make a rod out of mm. one of the materials. Yeah. But the thing and is like that the, that will now stop once the output is full, which I think is two hundred. There's a part of me that thinks like obviously, this is probably something that will come in maybe later in early access or whatever. But the conveyor belt should stop moving if it's not taking anything in. Oh, the actual, the actual animation, you think? Yeah, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, I mean, that's a... Yeah. In the grand scheme of what the hell this thing is, that's a nothing element. Yeah, yep. Let's take these rods. Yep. And, and these plates. Yeah, need oh, to. So we need to now make more of the building block, which I can't make any more of. Maybe you can? Can you craft more building blocks? Uh, three. Alright, that's... Alright, that's... You need to do some digging. Yep, let's... Boss has got me working, <laughs> working in the mine. Digging up some shit so he won't kill my... time. Yes, that'll do. That works. That works. <laughs> That's, there's the chain gang, chain gang song. Not the chain gang like John Cena's, but moving on. <laughs> Man, we could almost put this under that whole, uh, what's it, picking rocks, digging holes playlist we have for Minecraft. Mm, yeah. <laughs> There's just less picking and more just drilling. Yeah. How many blocks have you got? I do like how you can basically just stretch it out. Yeah, so that's the one thing that's a bit different from, from Satisfactory. You don't need to place each individual block. So they actually started, there's a, um, a mod for Satisfactory that basically does that. Okay. Um, there's a whole bunch of mods on Satisfactory, as you can imagine. Um. So, like, for lack of a better term, qualitatively, how does this compare to Satisfactory for you? Um, I've not played, obviously, I've literally only played this for maybe two hours now, versus... Yeah. 1700 on Satisfactory, yes. so it's not quite the same. Um... But I, I prefer Satisfactory still. Um, do, you, do you have to do any of this digging shit or anything or in Satisfactory? I can't remember. I think Satisfactory, I, I think you get to automation quicker than you, you do in this game so far. Okay. But that's so just... It's, less the, it's more the automation element. Yeah. So I'm... would you build tree, uh, build shit that cuts down these trees? Oh, uh, eventually we'll get a... Um, we'll get mining... We'll get more power that doesn't need us to drop them down, basically. Mm. There is a, there is absolutely a comparison point with Minecraft as well, with like when you're drilling the tree, because like you look at the environmental graphic design, and it seems fairly modern. But then when you start drilling the tree, you just get like cracks popping on the tree. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's very Minecraft in that way as well. There's there's a sort of balance of simplicity and modernity almost. Let's chuck the rubble in, yep. so we can make them. We got shitloads of ore, so we're okay. So we need to make... Okay, we need to also make another miner. Another drone miner, so we need... A bunch of stuff for that. We need to make another smelter and another biomass burner. Alright, so I need... I've got those three things on my... 
All right, you're ready to go. Um, okay, cool. No, I haven't built them. I've got them on my hold bar. So I was thinking I could just hover and it'll tell me what to do, but it doesn't. Yeah, that's the one thing I don't... It's, it doesn't tell you a lot of things, actually. It just it doesn't tell you when it's in your hotbar. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, ideally it would, but it doesn't. Put one block there. So, I need machinery parts. I've got five machinery parts. What the fuck are you talking about? What else are we going to take? Oh, that's what... Alright, sorry. No, I don't have machine parts. I have electronic parts. You said biomass burner, right? Yep, we need a biomass burner. Alright, got one more. of them going. Alright, good. We need Any a... more plates? We need uh, a drone. Loaders. We need a drone. Basically, Wait. we need to repeat what we did over the other side, essentially. So. I need plates. I'm taking the plates. Yep. <laughs> I can make it. I'll build the... I'll build the... I'll build the drone miner thingy. What? Okay, and we need a loader, which means I need some electronic components, machinery parts. The fuck there. Um. Oh man, electronic components, which I don't have. Um, technium rods. I got fuckloads of them. I just don't have any plates. No, I need them. I need plates. Yeah, I, I need mean, plates to make machine parts. Yeah, I need plates, so don't take them. Get out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> I wish there was a function to just like push you out of the way and just go, ha ha! <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm just going to take How many plates, plates do you need? I need 10 plates. Oh, you motherfucker. I can't remember what I need. Right. I only need four, you bloody. Oh, you bastard. <laughs> You motherfucker! <laughs> I'm drilling your back. He oh. <laughs> what happens if I drill the machine? I would imagine nothing. You're absolutely right. Nothing. Mm. Is it wrong to be disappointed by that? <laughs> Alright, so... I need machinery parts. Oh, yeah. fuck me! So I'll build the smelter then. So I didn't know... I've got, I've got a smelter built. you got a smelter built? So you've got a biomass smelter built? I've got, a sm I've got that. I just need four more xenoferrite plates for uh, the second half of the loader. Okay. So let's... So have you got the biomass burner? I do. Okay, so power it up this drone will make it... it can do it for us. Oh, yeah. So just put oh, that... Great. Yeah, that'll do. Put it there, that'll do. In the corner. Yeah, feed it with stuff. Oop, I'm putting it in the wrong place. Alright, so that's making that'll make that quicker. Gonna paint that wagon, gonna paint it fine. I'm an environmental terror, Graham. Yep. <laughs> Fuck these trees. It doesn't show, like, if you're drilling the same tree someone else is, it doesn't show, like, the combined progress, just only what the purported progress you should have. Mm. Oh, right. I just pressed. No, I just pressed. Ah. I stole some rubble. So with this research server it's asking for, does it matter what... We only put that down on one spot, right? Uh, yeah, so that requires... Um, if you go into the, into your inventory, where you're crafting, see in the far top there's a science packs option. Yes. We need to actually make some of those, because they're what you need to feed it for research. But we don't need to build two research servers. No, it just master. need to build one. No, just one. Okay, cool. Okay. Load up. Alright, so I've taken up. I have two loaders. Right, so I've got... And I've got a smelter. So I think we need to make a bit bigger. 
More blocks, you reckon? Yeah, let's just let's build some more blocks so we can give you. I cancel out of the. Oh, I'll probably just do that. Just press the button, I think. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm gonna uh, grab those and I'm gonna craft some more. I can only build one building block, Jet. They need four, six plates for every block. Every one you build, oh, but you get a fair few though. You get ten out of it though. Out of every single one. Yes, yeah, so you're not. You're not building just one block. You're building. Oh, you're not building one block. Okay. No, you're getting. Um, I think you get ten out of each one. I think. Oh, okay. I thought I was only getting one. No, you get more than that. I was like, those greedy assholes. Second, what you want to do is build out sort of in that direction. You see what I'm doing on the red thing? You see that? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So I reckon that's where we need yeah, to build. Yeah, it's a good showing. Yep. So build onto that area. Is it red though because you don't have enough blocks? Because I don't have, because I don't have enough blocks to build that big. Okay. So I've built one. Two. I can build three and I'm out. Hooray! What about that? Put the panel on the... over here. On this side. Yep, perfect. Go. Right. Yeah. And we load. Got to load it. Yep. Oh, uh, shit! Uh, she better dismantle it. She better dismantle it. There's a... F. F. Yep. Which is actually the same key for dis... <laughs> for dismantle is also the same in um, Satisfactory is, is F. Oh, okay. Sure. Okay. Let's try this again. Right. Uh, Rotate. Right. Yep, that's him. Make that a intake if it's not already. Oh, whoops. I'll do it in a sec. There we go. And then... Oh, we don't need two of them, though. Oh. You can get rid of one. There we go. No, we don't need only need one. Get rid of one. Oh, because i got to put the other one on the bloody... Yeah, on right. The, on the miner, yep. What a dickhead. And I've got the conveyor belt, so I'll do that bit. Uh, there. Yep, that'll work. Yep. All right. Fine. Look at me! I'm building. Fine. Rotate that and that. Okay, automatically curves it. Yeah, once you tell it the what direction you want to do it, it'll automatically curve it. Uh, I want to do. Wait a second. Oh, I think the problem is that's not an outtake. Then we do. Fun. It's not going anywhere. Uh, God, rotate that. That's interesting. It won't let me turn it. Oop. It won't let me. That's interesting. It won't let you place it. No, it let me placing it, but it's not putting automatically doing the curve thing. Does that matter? Oh, that's a, that's a yeah, that's an intake. Oh. That's definitely an outtake. Yeah, because it won't feed it anymore. It won't actually go in. Oh, oh, bugger. Lost the bloody platform. So it's putting... Oddly enough, it's giving me the direction there. So I'm going to move the intake. Okay. That, so I'm not sure why that's doing that. That's... Oh, that's Maybe because I had it too close to the edge? Maybe. Now, I dismantled that, but I didn't get the materials for it. I said it. My bad. Not on my inventory bar or thing. I was going to say, it didn't give it back to me. Oh, ooh, customized character. Oh, this I'm is really perfect. this is really odd. Still not letting me do it. Really? Yeah. Alright, so that's definitely an outtake. What if you like run the track the other way around? Intake, definitely an intake. So lay the track from the intake to the output instead of the output to the input. Yeah. I think I know what the problem might be. That's no. good because I don't. I think the issue is you can't have it changing direction under the loader. I think is the issue. Uh, huh. 
So which means I think we've built the thing too close. So let me just see if this works. Because I can build that, and I can build that. But I, it doesn't let me put the direction in there. We build the machine too close. So what we need to do is get rid of that. We need to build some more platey things, some foundation thingies. Yep, and maybe, yep, do that. And what we'll do is we'll now put the smelter. There we go. I couldn't make it do the left hand turn under the loader itself I think was the problem. Huh. It's a bit of a mm, bit of a weird bug. I I wouldn't have, yeah that I seems to be a that. weird don't know if that's like, a, not, limitation. Not sure if that's a by design or a bug, I'm not too sure. Sound, to me it seems like I, a I, design. I would, I'd say that's a design problem that they just haven't mm. let you do it, but anyway. Not a very good one, but... No. Uh, Right, so that's how that's got that building. Um, uh oh. Now, Ooh, I'm gonna. I've got enough to craft this research center, so I'm gonna do it since we're gonna need it. So, the research thing will need mm -hmm. science packs. And you make science packs from. I think you use science packs to. You need to make machinery parts and rods. So, rods have already got made, we've got a bunch of them being made over here. So, we've got that covered. Easy. Okay. Um, but, machinery parts needs to be made from plates. So, you put plates. Uh, I was going to say, I've got a bunch of construction blocks now. So now we, yes, yeah, so we need to make the uh, uh, research to build, to research an assembler. So, let's put, we need to put the research down on a platform. So have you got enough, have you got any building blocks at all? I have 47. Oh, you're laughing. So what I get you to do then is basically somewhere in the middle of between the two places, between the two little bits we've got, so say roughly here. We've got a big friggin' foundation. Takes up a much Should space. Should we keep it level with the, like, make it ground level, or are you yeah. okay to have it step up? No, that's fine. We've got lift, we can have convey boats go up, go up, so that's fine. Okay. So just make it... I was just thinking for uniformity's sake. Ah, that's alright. Real. The ants go marching five by nine, hurrah! Hurrah! Right. So now well, I'm going to put the research thing. Oh man, it didn't take much color change. What a stick. Uh. Alright, there we go. To advance in research, you will need to build science packs. I'm purple. Just a few by hand to unlock your first research, the assembler. Okay. You got another no biomass burner? Oh, you, yeah, you, you got another biomass burner on you, by any chance? Uh, no, I do not. Okay. But I can make one. Make one. I don't want it. <laughs> you can't tell me what to do. And that's the end You're of this. That's the end of, that's the end of this one. <laughs> you can't make it. <laughs> <laughs> that's the end of this checkout. <laughs> Steve's decided to be a dick, so we're not doing this anymore. Doing anymore. <laughs> that's it. End of the story. Man, yeah. there's another tree over here. You don't get different biomass, it's just the same. No, it's, just, it's all just biomass. Right, before we end, I want to see how if we can walk over to the top of this hill. Yeah, yep, we we'll could do that. Yep. See that hill? You can walk towards it. We can walk towards it. <laughs> I just broke a mushroom. And an ugly plant. Oh, you're right, we need biomass fuel. 
Uh, it doesn't matter how close it is, does it? Like, it's just as long as it's on the platform. As long as, as long as it's on the platform, it, it'll power anything that's on the platform, basically. Bang! It's on, get out yeah. of the way! <laughs> Fucking just stand in the way of the bloody... I didn't know where you, know where you bloody will put Control it. panel, you silly dick. <laughs> so walk up to this... Inter walk up and go into the research interface and just see how much inter research is in there. I mean, it, like, relative, like, for me, it's like, holy shit, but yeah. then, like, relative to the genre? Uh, it's not it's that, like, it's not that much, but it's... That's what it's, I'm saying, that's what still, I was just about to say, still, like, relative to the genre, it's not that much at all. Yeah. But for... What's, what's irritating, though, is it seems to force you in a particular order. So you see in the bottom right-hand corner, you've got the research, like, it's a big grid, like a big table of stuff. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Bottom left-hand corner. Yeah, bottom left-hand corner. I'd like to be able to... I was trying to research, when I was playing before, research the container, but I couldn't really do it without doing the other things before it, which I think is a bit irritating, but anyway. Yeah, having it as a grid-based thing down here, and then having a branching tree... Wow! Branching tree. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I get why, because obviously one... In some regards, you need one thing before you do the other thing. Yeah. But there's also the why I have this research panel here at all then. Yeah, if you can't sort of go your own path sort of thing. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So same if thing. You can't go your own way. So the same thing. I mean, going to. I haven't got the. You've got the science packs, I think, because you've researched them. Or you've made them. Uh, no, I was going to. Oh yeah, no, yes, I did. Yeah. How about that? So go research interface. Choose the assembler, which is the next thing you got to pick. Where's and the then. Assembler? And then. Oh, literally the top thing. Yep. And then go manage inventory and dragging to the science packs you've made. Similar to what you do with the other, the other. There we go. So the assembler can take two things to make one thing. If that makes sense. And can also, you can like also. A man um, and a lady can take two <laughs> things and make a bait. Yes, exactly. Hooray! <laughs> Biology but, works. But otherwise, you can also just, um, um, yeah. You can also just do stuff. All right. So. Let's build more of those. Uh, what so. science packs? Uh, no, we'll get we'll make we'll start automating those in a moment. So let's just make a line from where we're we gonna go. We've basically got to join this platform we've made to other the other two platforms. You just unlocked the assembler. So this machine will allow you to automate production of more complex items. Let's do that. He said automate weird. Your top priority <laughs> should be to automate the production of more science packs. He did it again. Yep. <laughs> automate. Automate. Uh. Uh. All right, that will do. That's a good. more blocks. So. So let's build the assembler somewhere. We've actually got it to make. Where's the assembler? When you move it, it looks like you got to stick up your ass. <laughs> so we need more machine machinery plates and electronic components. Uh, I can make a bunch of machinery parts. How many? Uh, we need five electronic components. And I can't make any. So can you make some? Sure can. Thing is, I don't know how we actually get them. How do we get them get to what? each other? How do we get them to each other? Get what to each other? Like I've got the plates and machinery parts. You've got the components. How do we ah drop the item? You drop. You make the components and drop five of them. What if I instead decided to destroy the item? You can do that. <laughs> <laughs> it's your choice. I just dropped them. All right, so let's see. <laughs> Where'd they drop? Oh no, the game took it. That's weird. Where'd they see, drop? The, the, the challenge is because I got the cameras looking at. I got my webcam on, but it doesn't show my camera on the screen. So I'm doing the shifty eyes like on The Simpsons, but it's not coming across. <laughs> the game took my stuff. I don't know what happened. Uh huh. It disappeared again. I think you got him. That's not true at all. <laughs> <laughs> cool. 
Uh, I'm funny. Yeah. Fuck you, I'm funny. <laughs> oh. There were 200 rods here. <laughs> Got rods. <laughs> anyway. Now this other one's going with its burning wood. Man, we're polluting the shit out of this planet. Oh yeah. <laughs> Haven't we learned anything about climate change? Okay. What can we do? So we're going to build an assembler. I'm just waiting for some more rods so I can make more of. Uh, Oh, the cracks on the tree vanish if you stop drilling. Alright. Uh, we're going to put this assembler. Up your ass. <laughs> um, the only thing I don't like about it is you've got to put everything into your hotbar to be able to use it. Yeah, it, that's, it seems weirdly redundant. Like, if you want to put it down... Like, why do you have to drag it yeah, into the hotbar first to then place it? Yeah, I think you should be able to just pick it from your inventory and just place it on the, in where you want I mean, to place granted, it. I when you drag it in the first time, you can just keep doing it, but when it's single-time things... Yeah, I just think that's... It's kind a of a little... fucking pain in the ass, really. It is. Um... Also, this night cycle what seems way longer than the, than the day cycle. <laughs> it's okay, I have more box. Yeah, beautiful. Wee. Just make it. Uh, not that well, you big. don't want to have a big bridge through these trees. No. Well, I don't have enough That'll blocks look. to pull that off, but yep. there we go. Beautiful. Put this thing there. So. Oh, yeah, I found some water. Water? Yeah. Oh, could you walk through it? I didn't have water in my other planet, my other area. Didn't you? No. You may not have walked far enough. Actually go underground, under the water. Oh, okay. Can you drill the... You absolutely you, can! You can, it's basically sand. Okay. Kind of makes sense. It's sand for a couple of layers, then dirt, then stone again. Okay. Ooh. The most rewarding part is you can just swim out. And also, no oxygen. Yeah, that's what we're, we're robots. It kind of makes sense. Well, look, essentially... I'm going to see how long I can hold my breath. <laughs> essentially, this is this game. Like, you've got... So what we do now, if, we're gonna, if we were to continue, we should go and walk that big mountain next. Um, we were going to here, we can configure this thing to make machine parts, for example. Feed it plates, and then it'll spit out machine parts, and then you can put... You get it to spit out multiple things, or is it only, be able, only uh, able to it do can, one thing at a time? Do one, it only can do one thing at a time. Okay. So you need to make... So that's where we would feed the plates from this thing. So we have another in outtake on that smelter that's making plates over here. Oh, fucking F hell! Feed it to this thing. We then make machine parts. Then build an assembler to to combine the machine parts from this thing with the plates from that thing to make more science packs. So we didn't move the drop pod. Yeah, no. In satisfactory, you could actually dismantle it, <laughs> which I kind of liked. But uh, uh, you've I essentially can't do that. you've essentially seen what this game is. But uh, I, it's not too bad. It's early access. So there's a lot to do, but well, it will be early access. Early access. But um, it's not. I don't think it's too bad. It's all right. It's got a couple I of mean, UI, it's, it's... couple of UI things I think could be better, but ultimately, mm. it's, it's not too bad. There's a Minecraft component to it, but even then, I think there's still a bit too much of the... Busy work's not the right terminology. Yeah. But there is a bit too much of the quote-unquote busy work for my my tastes. Yeah. I like the, the piece of just digging holes. Which you can do. Yeah. Oh, you don't even need to jump up the steps. No, I think it just helps you walk up the next level. As long as it's the next only one block higher than you. Yeah. No, no. Yeah. Nope. Uh, 
there's also one other thing I want to see, and if there's fall damage. I don't think there is. But then I haven't been this high, so... You haven't been this high before? Not this high. New. Well, Graham, are you missing out? No, I don't know. <laughs> Not that high. Guess what Graham's going to do for 420, y'all? <laughs> It is kind of annoying that, like, even blocks that are just, like, trying to get on something that's a second block up, you can't actually jump up it. Like, you either go up, like, the step, but you can't jump that second step higher. Yeah. It's like, well, why not, bro? Oh, you're over there. Yep. I was going to say if you wanted to come over here and watch me jump off, but... You can still watch me jump off from over there. Oop, oop. <laughs> I'm the king of the... Whoa! There's what? like a planet here. The Skybox has a planet on it. You got a planet in... Oh, yeah. Over, like, the northwest? Yeah. I think we're on a moon. I think we're on a moon of a planet, I think. Moon of a planet, eh? I think that's what we're on. Not anymore, I'm not. Up, oh, dip. I'm gonna, well, guess, I'm gonna guess because we're robots, we don't have full damage? That was disappointing. <whistles> not only did I not take any damage on the way down, I basically bounced, like, four times. Yeah. And they weren't even proper bounces, I just landed. Yeah. I'm sick of this. <laughs> I don't be this way anymore. I'm gonna drown. The thing that's interesting is that I haven't. In Satisfactory, there are actually. Um, not enemies per se, but there are. Monsters, like animals and animals, biology and shit animals like that. And, stuff, and there's nothing like that in this game. Well, so far, at least in this demo. What Didn't built. you also install a mod to fuck those off, though? Yeah, I did. Yeah. But yeah, I find Dernan. it... I find it interesting there's nothing in this game at all about life, wildlife. It's just mm. the environment, which... Dernan, 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 dernan. Dark! No, we're not on the moon, because there's a moon right there. You mean a moon right there? Over to the northeast. Northeast. Oh, yeah, so there is. I don't know. There. Alright. That is. Where are you? That is. You can sprint with the drill on. No. <laughs> I was getting Bioshock vibes now. <laughs> I'm a big daddy! Rawr! Just need a little sister. That's well, not what the little sisters sound like either, but whatever. <laughs> Thank you, Steve, for indulging me in this little look at Foundry. Um, I don't think I was I'll... still able to be immature. <laughs> I'm not too sure I'll actually come back and play this game because I've got Satisfactory, so... Um, and I've got way more invested in that than I would have to restart with this one. Hey, where are you? Um... Oh, there you are. Hello. Hello. I'm positioned in such a way that I can't see smoke coming out of this chimney. Excellent. I'm blocking the exhaust pipe, so maybe I'll catch fire. No, you can still see it's slightly rising. Damn it. Wee! <laughs> Parkour! The, actually, that's something I wouldn't mind checking. Can I? Fuck. Go up here. Damn it. Blech. All right. What are you trying to do? I'm trying to jump from the escape pod over to here, over to our little burner, oh, okay. to then try and jump up here. Oh, okay. But uh, no. No. You can't do it that way. No. You could make a really cool parkour course though if you built enough of these engine, like these blocks. Hmm. I'm Thank drilling you, you with your mechanical eye. Thank you, Steve. This has been Foundry. <laughs> Out in early access sometime soonish. I'm I'm making the assumption. Maybe. Maybe. Oh. That is a demo's available now on Steam. 
check it out if you're interested. Thank you, Steve. Thank you, Graham. <laughs>